Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, the rail line crossing gate consists of a 100 kg gate arm having a center of mass at GA and a 250 kg counterweight having a center of mass at TGW. Determine the magnitude and the directional sense of the resultant moment produced by the weights about point A. And then in the other case, we are being asked to determine uh, the magnitude and the directional sense of the result and moment produced by the weights about point B. All right, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So what we are going to do is we are going to separate this so that we have two spaces. Uh, so let's start with case number one. So we have a um, crossing, a rail line close crossing with these weights, and we've been given two centers of gravity, GA and GW, and we have been asked to find the moments produced by the weights about point A in the first case, and in the other case about point B. Right. So case four dash eleven. So before we do so, let's add some details to this. So this, this point here, this is gravity GA. We've been given uh, the, uh, the weight and uh, gravity point uh, G, maybe this one will be, I will put the arrow up like this. Because I want to maintain the details and then the other weight is there so let's write down these weights let's start with GW GW being told is 250 so we need to convert it to uh, acceleration I mean we need to convert it to the weight so multiply it by the acceleration due to gravity so weight is equal to mass times G uh, so what we need to do now is to say 250 uh, 100 is at GA and 250 at GW so here we have 250 right mm -hmm. 250 times our acceleration due to gravity we use 9.81 so what do we get grab your calculator so that you multiply that 250 by 9.81 so we have a 24 we have a 24, 52.5 newtons, and then there uh, at uh, GA is a hundred times 9.81. So this gives us 981 newtons, right? Of course, we are just transferring the zeros. So with this information. We are good to go so let's start with the first case which is summation of moments about point a and clockwise being our reference what do we have about point a uh, let me see about point a so we have this weight i'm trying to check the lever arm let me indicate the lever arm here. Let me indicate it in advance. There's some lever arm there that I need to indicate. I'll indicate it in red so that it is visible. Okay. So that is the one I want to indicate that one. Maybe I write it down like so, that one. All right, so what do we have? From one end there to the other end is 0.5. So this is going to be equal to 0.5. Let me use a thicker color. This is 0.5 minus 0.5 minus 0 0.25, which is just equal to 0. 
to 5 meters. Mm -hmm. Great. So let's start. We have a negative moment. I mean negative moment due to this weight 250. Um, so we have negative 24, 52.5 times the lever arm, the lever arm is what we just calculated is 0 0.25. What else do we have? Then we have a positive moment from uh, the other weight at GA, which is 981 times the lever arm. What's the lever arm? The lever arm is 2.5 plus 0.25. Okay. So this is going to be equal to 2.5 plus 0 0.25. Okay. Therefore, summation of moments about point A is just going to be equal to. These are the only forces that are participating, right? Mm -hmm. These are the only ones. Let's calculate. So this gives us minus 24. 52.5 by 0 0.25 plus 981 times 2.5 plus 0.25. So this gives us uh, 20, uh, 2084.625. Uh, what are the units? Newton meters and the direction of the moment is uh, positive which is anti-clockwise okay so this is about it for the first case so let's go to case number two which is case 4-12 and here we are saying we need to find the summation of moments about point B and clockwise been our reference where is B B is down so again we'll have a negative moment from uh, the weight at GW so we have a 24 52.5 times um, times 0.5 okay and then we have a minus 981 times uh, 2.5. Okay. Then summation of moments about point B will be equal to our negative 24, 52.5 by 0.5. This one is a positive, okay? This is a positive moment. All right, 988, 981. Then plus 981 by 2.5. So here we are going to have a 12, a 12, 26.25 Newton meters, and we have anticlockwise also. Let me just check it out again. 24, 52 by 0 0.5 plus 981 uh, by 2.5. 12, 26 point. Oh, come. I forgot my point. 24, 52.5 by 0.5 plus 981 by 2.5. 12, 26. 0.25. All right. So there we are. So we have found the moment for case one, and then we have another set of moment for case number two. I think this is about it, and I hope the video is helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.